Hello everyone, this is Games and Tuts, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a sensor mark in, um, in Audacity. So I'm going to be teaching you two things. I'm going to be teaching you, well, it's the same thing, but I'm going to be teaching you how to do it two different ways. Actually, it's the same way. I'm just, you'll see. Okay, <laughs> so let's get started. Go ahead and open Audacity. If you do not have Audacity, check out my... Uh, first Audacity tutorial right here. Okay, it'll be somewhere in the middle of the screen. Okay, and uh, it'll have a link to Audacity. So, there you go. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do, if you're going to just record something and censor out stuff that isn't actually, uh, I'm not going to actually put it, be swearing. I'm just going to be censoring out random stuff, making it sound like I'm swearing. Okay. So, um, yeah, you might be saying, oh, aren't you cool? But, you know, I'm just, this is a tutorial. A lot of people want to know how to do it. So, um, so here we go. So this is for covering up stuff that you have already recorded on in Audacity. Let's go. Ah, uh, what the fudge? <laughs> okay, so you notice I put a k at the end. So, you know, it'll sound like I'm swearing, but I'm not. So... Let's go ahead and listen to that. Uh, what the fudge? K. So the f starts around here, and then the k ends over here. So we can extend it and make it sound like we went fa, but uh, it's not going to turn out really good. So I'm going to cut about this much out. Yeah, that looks right. And then I'll select from here to here. And what you do is you go to Generate, Tone, and you make this 1,000. And you're done. Um, it's a little loud, though. Uh, what the fuck? Um, I'm going <laughs> to... Hold on one second. I'm going to kind of... Generate silence there, and then I'm going to kind of generate over this again kind of sounds weird all right um so if you notice it's kind of loud you can go to effect while you're still selected on here you can tell if it's selected so if it's gray up here uh if you're still selected on it you can go effect amplify and then go negative three while you're selected on the the tone and it'll kind of shorten it down so it'll make it softer so let me go ahead and Remove the beginning. Remove the end. This might sound weird now because of the end here, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there's that. And now for if you just want to make a beeping or blooping sound because you want to be able to cover things up and stuff that you make later on in videos or whatever, then um, here's how you do that. Just go ahead and generate tone 1000 and make it for as long as you want. So... I think a second should be good for anything, any word, um, and then click generate tone. It's zoomed in a lot, so if we zoom out, you see it's one second. So here, I'll play that. So that shouldn't you shouldn't be dragging a word out longer than that. So that's how you do that. And then if you don't know how to say it, then just go to file export as WAV or if you have the lame mp3 encode, encoder thing in this then you can save as mp3 but I never bothered to get that um, I probably should though anyways uh, well I hope you enjoyed the tutorial hopefully you can censor your your words or if you were just using this to unnecessary unnecessarily censor songs or whatever then have fun post them as a video response do whatever so thank you for watching, hope you learned something, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.